What a pretty robot. I love the way it looks. I love a lighting effect. I love the way the white blends in with the H in NHRL. My name is Elliot Burlate, and this is my robot kit. It is a 12 pound horizontal spinner, and this is my first time at NHRL. We were driving down a Ohio road, and there was this guy driving his three-wheeler, and he had put the Knight Rider light on the front. That was the inspiration. I was like, oh, I wonder what that is. My parents were like, we should show you this old show. I think you'd like it. I am the voice of Knight Industry 2000's microprocessor, K-I-T-T -T for easy reference, a kit if you prefer. I enjoyed it, and then it was like, oh, NHRL's rolling around. We don't have a name for our robot. And I was like, well, let's just name it Kit after the futuristic car from the show. And then we were like, oh, let's put the light in the robot. And it kind of spiraled from there. It takes a lot of inspiration from Maximizer and Thagmizer style robots, because it was originally intended that the back was the front and that you lead with the wedge to protect the blade, because a lot of verticals do a lot of damage weapon on weapon with horizontals. I was doing some practice driving and I got two shots using the Maximizer design and style, which I'm pretty happy with. I got the idea for the wheels from Owen Coakley, who ran Super Scope and Cthulhu. He helped a lot with this robot. The basic idea is that the metal cleats, which are very common on wood floors, are protected by several inches of TPU, so that even when big impacts hit my wheels, which happened, and took like several inches off, the cleats still spun perfectly after being hit. Horizontals are a lot harder to control and they're a lot more chaotic when they drive and verts are really good at staying flat and centered, whereas a horizontal flies around and gets stuck in the wall, which happened to me. All right, kid, let's see what you can do. Who's gonna connect first? That was a big oh! one. The wheel is gone on the left side of Kit. Can't see where the edge of Siebert's blade is. Oh, there is no movement out of <laughs> Kit. I don't think they're actually stuck, Ricky. But it looks like Siebert is going to take this Tap one. Tap out.